Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Monday, the 26th of September. Today the moon is in um, in Libra. It's under everyone is under the influence of the new moon in Libra, which makes it a beautiful, gorgeous day. If you're an air sign, meaning if you're Gemini, if you're Libra, if you're Aquarius, also if you are Leo and uh, Sagittarius. How is it going to be for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Aries may be, well, well, the moon in Libra, actually, it falls in the seventh house, your seventh house, which means that most probably there are some issues that need to be uh, dealt with or uh, looked into. You cannot overlook. Uh, maybe they have to do with your uh, relations, direct relations, uh, maybe your spouse, your family, your parents, your colleagues, or maybe your um, your boss or bosses or whatever so it can be anything it can be something a bit annoying or it can be maybe a competition and you have so much energy because there's a lot of energy today and you can excel in it this can be a double-sided uh, issue so or a double side uh, uh, sword as we say so it can be plus or minus it can be pro or con it can be uh, positive or negative it depends how you handle this great energy uh, if you're calm and patient this can be a beautiful day moving to taurus it's a long busy day uh, with the new moon falling in the sixth house this can be actually a busy busy day and the new moon brings on new things in your life in your daily life in your daily routine and maybe it is something related to uh, health so it can be anything it can be a beautiful long day or it can be a long annoying day it can be um uh uh, tiring or exhausting physically so it can deplete your energy so you have to pay attention to that something new may knock on on your door moving to gemini this is a great opportunity for gemini's to make the best of this beautiful beautiful uh, cosmic event which is the new moon in libra this thing happens once a year in libra which means it's the fifth house it's the house house of opportunities of creativity of fun of love of romance and of doing things the right way even if you do them half right i think the the good luck the good vibes that are present today will um, el enhance everything you do and everything you do even the simple things will look super great super beautiful it's one of those beautiful excellent days work wise luck wise uh, even financially meaning that if you have a problem everything will sort itself out just keep um trying don't give up this day is for trying and this day everything should work out meaning don't let this day pass without doing anything if you have a a big problem work on it today because you need all the luck and today you have all the luck possible okay just be extra careful if you were born on the 10th or 11th of june that's planet mars okay let's move now to cancer with the new moon effects or influence still or vibes still in the fourth house something may worry you there is something bugging you it can be a health issue it can be a parent issue um maybe um a rental issue something that has to do with your sense of stability um so you can be a bit emotional today positively or negatively it can be a moody day also so it depends how you want to handle this great energy and the energy that's is inherent today is kind of changing you know it's a new moon it means that there's something new that you can start or you can uh, continue with okay so it's it's very vibrant it's very powerful this energy and it will take you in the direction of the, these issues that i have just mentioned moving to leo this is a very dynamic day there's a lot of energy going around it's like it makes you um kind of hyper a lot of energy going around you don't sit down for for a minute you're very busy you have no no patience or you can take it the positive way and you can be the most um efficient the most precise the most 
a great, excellent manager, wherever you are. So this can be anything. Even the essays, the presentations yet that you do and you work on will be super, super, super impressive. This can be a great day. Moving to um, Virgo. Virgo, this is a nice day. The, the, the power of the lunar new, lunar, new moon in, in, in Libra, in the second house, may actually push you to work more towards better income, uh, better stability. Maybe you start thinking or start working immediately on a sales issue. Or maybe you have new projects and maybe you get some great news. It can be anything. The new moon actually is something good for almost all signs. It depends where it falls. And in your case, it falls in the house of money, in the house of wealth, in the house of um, good news, in the house of getting results, which empower a person. So maybe you're waiting for some results and maybe you, can, you get them. Just try to uh, handle well your budget. Okay, you can be very, very lucky if you were born on the 12th or 13th of September. That's planet Venus. Let's move now to Libra. What can I say, Libra? It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's like a birthday for you. It's like a birth, not day, birth year for you. This is something excellent. This is something to really to, um, to feast. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day, totally empowering, totally uh, daring, giving you the opportunity to say no to anything that you never liked. Of course, there's no need to be imposing or to be aggressive or too strong. Um, with a simple sentence, the, the energy that you have, um, the cosmic energy, the lunar energy that you have, the solar, even solar energy that you have will... Um, help you and almost guarantee a positive answer it's a new page it's like you putting behind you a one year page or maybe a six month page it depends what you want even if you have nothing to start this is a new page for you it can be something that you want to do just now or maybe you want to plan for the future start executing something this is a beautiful gorgeous day you will get great news Let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a slow day. It's time for you to sit down, put down your, your bags and wait. It's like you are at a station, at a train station, and you're waiting for your train. You're waiting for your opportunity to come and to move from a point to another point. So this is something that you have to think about and try to handle the issues that you really want to be, to move about. So uh while you're waiting you get all these issues all these ideas uh some positive some negative try to stay on the positive side uh, try actually not to think you know live the moment you know live the moment so um, uh, i think this is a time to relax this is not a good day to be moving things around deciding on big things or embarking on new projects not at all you really need to wait for the moon to reach your sign to get things done in the meantime be careful moving to sagittarius what a beautiful gorgeous happy busy day it's um it's a very nice day it's very fast it's very dynamic it's very helpful it gives you a lot of opportunities to Try things differently. It gives you a lot of opportunities to ask for help and to excel and to charm everyone. This is a great day that will help you actually see things differently. It will um, enhance your popularity and people will look up to you. They will love what you're doing. And I think today is a great day to maybe to look for a, a group or a team to join uh, so you can feel more empowered and more uh, confident. Maybe later you'll just give this up and you'll be on your own, you know, but it can be anything. If you need help at work, ask for help. Let's move now to uh, Capricorn. This is a great, great empowering day. It has the potential of um, reaching the highest, the highest point in your career. It depends on what you're waiting, what you've been working for. The new moon is in Libra, it's in the 10th house. It's the highest point that one, that one can actually look for. You know, any person 
whose natal chart when he was born or they were born, uh, they have any planet in the 10th house. This means that they can be very popular and very famous. So today, the new moon is in your 10th house, which gives you the chance, the opportunity to make up for something that you lack, that your chart lacks. So this can be the timing. It's like the bell, you know. It's the opportunity for you to shine and to do something really impressive for your career or for your personal life or your social life. Uh, it can be an exhausting day, but the effects of this new moon can last at least a month. If you're ready enough, this can be the change that you've been working for and waiting for. Okay, so it's a green light. Let's move now to Aquarius. Aquarius, I love this day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's so totally different from the last 60 days, from the last past two months. This is a day that will actually enrich you physically. It will enrich you uh, mentally. It will enrich you psychologically. It will help you be, to be more dynamic, more, um, uh, more efficient and more capable of handling your daily life, your career, your social life, your academic life. This is a beautiful day. This does not mean that you can actually um, just ignore the beautiful vibes. Of course, you can sit and do nothing about anything, but then you would be wasting the beautiful opportunities that you have to make things right. So if you have any issue, any case, difficult case, and you really need to call someone that this someone has never replied, today is a day to do that. This is the day to take a step forward, okay? Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, this new moon, falls in the eighth house, which is the house of legal issues, health issues, insurance policies, any kind of policies, anything related to your um, any document that you have. It's also related to resolving issues, resolving issues with parents, with friends, with colleagues, with yourself. It may not be that, um, that soothing day. It's because of the dynamic energy of the new moon, but actually it's a way a cosmic way universe is saying telling you go ahead and start working on your issues pending issues or these that you hid in the drawer it's time to face issues try to be precise and look for someone an expert you know uh, who can help you and you will win this is a good day it's not a negative day the new moon always gives us an opportunity to start over Okay, so basically this is it. I wish you all a beautiful, gorgeous day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.